Every year, extreme weather leaves millions without electricity for extended periods of time. But there is a solution. DIY expert and HDTV star Anthony Carino is teaming up with the Propane Education and Research Council, or PERC, to share how propane keeps his home run. And welcome to the show. Thanks so much for having me. Of course. So what is your experience with power outages? Yeah, so I'm up here at my house in the Catskills. I lose power about once a month just in the normal course of operations. Um, matter of fact, I, I had, uh, we got married a couple months ago, my wife and I, and we're coming home from our rehearsal dinner. I heard the generator fire up as we were coming down the driveway, uh, which is a good thing because I had 14 people staying at the house. We got married here, so we had a whole bunch of food in the refrigerator. And that peace of mind knowing that even if the power goes out, the generator's going to kick on uh, really just keeps you feeling a whole lot better about the state of your home. Yeah, congratulations, by the way. And of course, you know, being in the South, we have to worry about hurricanes and that kind of thing, too. So how does a backup generator work for maybe someone who's never had one? Yeah, so there's a whole bunch of options out there, but um, what I suggest and what I did here at my house is I installed a whole home backup generator with what's called an automatic transfer switch. Uh, so the basic idea here is you'll have a plumber come out and they will pipe your generator to your propane storage tank. And then you'll have a licensed electrician come out and they will wire the generator to your automatic transfer switch and then from the switch to the circuit in your home. Uh, from there, you literally don't have to do anything else. When the power goes out, the automatic transfer switch detects it, flips the switch, turns the generator on, and your home is then powered. And that's it. Got that peace of mind. So does it matter then what size home you have? So it doesn't matter what size home you have, but what does matter is the size of the generator mm. to properly size to the size of your home. The ratio. <laughs> um, so the best way to figure that out, uh, yeah, exactly. So you have different loads based on the amount of appliances you have in your home, electric appliances. Um, Kohlerpower.com actually has a great uh, load calculating uh, load calculator to let you know what size generator you need for your house. Um, Generac and Briggs and & Stratton have them as well. You can check them out on their sites. Um, but you ba the basic idea here is you want the right size generator to, so to power your home appropriately. Right. Are there any other benefits to having propane other than making sure you have <laughs> your electricity when you need it? <laughs> Yeah, absolutely. So propane as a fuel does not degrade over time. Mm. So it's a great fuel that can be stored for long periods of time and be just as useful on day 500 or 5000 as it is on day number one. Um, the other thing is that it's much more environmentally friendly than a diesel or a, a gasoline powered generator. So a couple of figures, um, approximately 60% less carbon monoxide emissions, approximately 12% less on carbon dioxide, and approximately 20% less on nitrogen oxide emissions. Wow, I had no idea. Okay, what about reliability and cost then? Yeah, so from a reliability standpoint, like I said, you have that automatic transfer mm -hmm. switch, uh, the, it, the generator is going to kick on automatically, and because propane is such a stable fuel over time, you don't have to worry about that fuel degradation. Uh, so when the power goes out, that, that generator is going to kick on. And then cost really depends on two things. Number one is the size of the generator uh, that you need to power your home, and number two is uh, your propane costs from your local suppliers. So I just encourage everybody to do a little bit of research on that end, um, and, and, uh, and they'll be able to to know what they're paying uh, per gallon of propane. Yeah, I'm actually hoping to buy a home within the year and uh, this might be something I need to look into. So where can we go for more information? Uh, hi, hi. <laughs> yeah, I highly recommend it, Jordan. Um, so for more information on all things propane and specifically propane powered generators, you can go to propane.com slash generators for all your information. Awesome, thank you so much. It was so nice to meet you, Anthony, and congrats on the marriage. Pleasure. Thank you so much. Of course. And if you'd like to see this segment again, head on over to firstcoastliving.net.